Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for May 15th, 2022 from the Braddock Bay Hawkwatch. It was another beautiful day with sunny skies and you can see that there's some green starting to show up in the marsh. We had a high layer of clouds move in along with some cumulus clouds. The winds were quite variable. They started off light and then picked up from the north, which pushed the migrants inland. Then it eventually shifted to more of a westerly wind, which alternated with a northwest wind. So we stayed at the platform for the whole day today. Here we have an immature bald eagle, and you can see some of the longer, browner, retained juvenile feathers. Here we have a juvenile red-tailed hawk. So remember, all red tails show the dark patagial bars and the belly band, but it's a juvenile, so no dark trailing edge to the wing and no red tail. Here we have an interesting remote-controlled airplane, if you can even call it that, some sort of flying wing. Here we have a fresh juvenile bald eagle. Here we have a juvenile broad-winged hawk. Here's another juvenile red-tailed hawk, showing the same field marks as the last one. Here we have another juvenile broad-winged hawk, and this one's a little more heavily marked underneath, which gives it a slightly darker appearance. And here's yet another juvenile red-tailed hawk. And here's another juvenile bald eagle. And here is a juvenile northern harrier. So remember the juveniles don't show much streaking on the underside and don't show much marking in the patagial area. And here we have an adult bald eagle carrying nesting material. And at the end of the day, I went over to the owl woods to try for the Kirtland's warbler that was found earlier in the day. Uh, I didn't have any luck getting it, but I guess after I left, uh, it was refound and it was seen into uh, the dusk period. So maybe it'll stick around overnight. If we take a look at eBird, today I had 71 species at Braddock Bay Park. And if we take a look at hawk count for our migrant raptor totals, today we had 335 turkey vultures, 2 ospreys, 22 bald eagles, 13 northern harriers, 10 sharp-shinned hawks, 3 cooper's hawks, 79 broad-winged hawks, 17 red-tailed hawks, 3 American kestrels, and 1 peregrine falcon, for a total of 485 migrants today. The only new species for the season were two morning warblers. And taking a look at the forecast, tomorrow we'll have rain showers in the morning. It will become steady rain in the afternoon, high in the low 60s, winds northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour, increasing the 15 to 25 miles per hour. So just because of the rain and gloomy conditions, I would expect only light migration, and the count will probably end early. For Tuesday, we're looking at partly cloudy with gusty winds. High in the upper 50s, winds west-northwest at 20 to 30 miles per hour. So just because of how strong those winds are, I would only expect light migration. And for Wednesday, we're looking at a mix of sun and clouds. High in the upper 50s, winds northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So overall, that could be a decent day, somewhat similar to today. So uh, I would expect moderate migration. All right, that's it for today. If you like this video, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of these daily updates from the Braddock Bay Hawkwatch. This is David Brown. Thanks for watching.